Amor Fati translated from Latin means a love for one's fate. It is a term that's often coined by Friedrich Nietzsche and shares the ethos of Stoic philosophy. Now Nietzsche wrote, My formula for greatness in a human being is Amor Fati. That one wants nothing to be different, not forward, not backward, not in all eternity. Not merely bear what is necessary, still less conceal it, but love it. Amor Fati is a radical acceptance of your life. It's an acceptance of the pain, the pleasure, the good, the bad. It's looking at your life and falling in love. It's seeing the beauty in all of it. What brings immense pain to most human beings is the past. Thoughts of people who have wronged you, mistakes that you have made, missed opportunities, and of course, the embarrassing failures. Amor Fati demands that you look at each event and see the necessity of them all. You see the failed relationships and how they molded you to have greater emotional intelligence. And you accept them. You see the betrayals that you have endured and understand how they removed your naivety and you're grateful for them. The death of a loved one, although you love them and you miss them dearly, you can understand how their experience hardened you to overcome any of life's other vicissitudes. It is accepting that which cannot be changed. Now Stoicism takes this one step further. The Stoic approach is taking every event, good or bad, and using it as a tool for self-betterment. In this way, nothing truly bad can ever happen to a Stoic. The good events, they are welcomed, they're celebrated. The bad events, they are appreciated because they mold us, they give us the lessons that are necessary. Remember that every event can be flipped upside down. You can always love your fate because life is a game of perception. Now Epictetus wrote, there is only one way to happiness and that is to cease worrying about things which are beyond the power or our will. Stoicism and the ethos of Amor Fati is not about passivity. It's not about sitting around all day and having no ambition, just no path. It's not about blind acceptance of every situation that arises in life. It's far from that. You can still go out and build your business. You can still gather financial right. You can still invest in yourself. You can progress towards your goals. The only difference is the perspective you take upon the outcome. The average person, when they fail to attain their goals, when they don't get the job they want, when they get rejected by their crush, they lament and engage in self-pity. The self-pity turns into a downward spiral. The downward spiral turns into a depression. Now the adherents of Amor Fati look at the situation in a different way. Regardless of how bleak it is, they look at it and they say, good. This change in mindset allows you to move on and plan your next move. Now, former Navy SEAL Commander Joko Unik describes this mentality often. It's a mentality that allows you to have the grit that's needed to achieve any worthwhile goal. The ability to accept the failures and disasters with zeal and move forward is perhaps the most critical skill needed to live the good life. How can you turn your back and wish for anything to be different? Really, how can you? Amor Fati means to love your fate. Loving your fate means loving your life, and it's the only reasonable approach. So, this is the end of the video. You must have really liked it if you got this far. Yeah, I'm right. Yeah, I'm right. Okay, if you liked it, please click subscribe and hit the post notifications because YouTube is doing this weird thing right now where if you subscribe, it doesn't even show you my videos. Very strange, very strange stuff. But yeah, click those post notifications. Well, good. Till next time.